God is good, Kryptonians. God is good. My reaction to seeing the Wonder Woman trailer. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Holy shit. Oh, that looks so awesome. Oh, DC, take my money. My reaction to seeing the Justice League teaser trailer. Where's my lotion and my towel? What's up, Kryptonians? Today is a huge day in DC Comic Con. There was a whole bunch of really awesome shit that happened today. I am here to break it all down with you guys because just like you, I am crazy, stupid, dumb excited for this shit. The Wonder Woman trailer was so badass and so awesome. It was everything that I wanted to see in a Wonder Woman trailer. I didn't know that the trailer was going to be that long. Like, I didn't know that it was going to be almost three minutes long. First of all, Wonder Woman was a complete badass in this trailer she was throwing down if there's one thing that you want to see in a wonder woman trailer it's badassery and wonder woman was kicking all kinds of ass in this trailer we got to see her throwing down with a whole bunch of look like mostly soldiers and people like that we also saw that steve trevor actually had a big role in this trailer too wonder woman was just using the shield she was using the sword she was riding on a horse and cutting heads off the lasso the moment that she pulled out that lasso and started whipping motherfuckers around pulling them yanking them slamming them i just i lost my shit love that shot where she slides across the floor on her shield or something and does like a sweeping kick or something and it was really really fucking cool all of the action in it it looks great i also love the color tone of the trailer the color tone of the trailer is brighter it's a little bit more I don't know, it's just, it's it's lighter, it's a much lighter color tone, and I think that that's really good. DC, at times, has had problems with lighting and color in their movies and their trailers. Not the case in this one, the color tone is pretty fucking sweet. Even though it's a long trailer, we don't really know that much, they didn't reveal much about the story. I mean, yeah, they showed Diana going with Steve Trevor to America, I guess, and we know that she's fighting soldiers in what looks like a World War I setting, but we don't actually know what the story is, we don't know what the villain is, we don't actually know more than we already knew. I was kind of scared when I saw that the trailer was three minutes. I was like, are they going to tell us the entire story in one trailer? Because, no, don't, don't fucking do that. I think we may have seen a brief shot of Eva Green as Cersei. We didn't see Ares. Kudos, Warner Brothers. You showed, but you didn't show too much. If there is one thing that's kind of like a mixed thing for me. They didn't show too much in terms of the plot. I am a little bit worried that they showed everything when it comes to the action. I'm just a little bit worried that they showed most snippets of the action in the trailer. I hope that's not the case. Wonder Woman was a badass. Gal Gadot looked really cool. She looked great in the outfit. When she spoke, she had presence, she had power. I really felt that she was Wonder Woman. There's also a little bit of humor sprinkled throughout this trailer too. So the Wonder Woman trailer, that, that got me at my hype level on like 8,000. You know what took it to 10 though? The Justice League teaser trailer. Holy shit. So much awesome in one fucking trailer. It showed Bruce Wayne going around with Wonder Woman recruiting the rest of the league. He's in that place with all those weird old people and he's talking about a guy and you know he's talking about Arthur Curry. You see Aquaman, he's just a couple of feet from him and he turns around and he's like, yeah, start talking. I love that shit. Just like with the Wonder Woman trailer, it's a little bit more pronounced in the Justice League trailer. There is a bigger influx of humor. There's a bigger influx of jokes. There's definitely a much lighter tone here. When Aquaman slams Batman up against the wall and he's like, hey Arthur, I hear you talk to fish. I'm like... Batman's a fucking savage. I also love this scene where Batman and Flash meet for the first time. That shit was really, really cool because Barry was acting the way that I would imagine Barry acting if he met Batman for the first time. And Batman's just really cool and he just knows he's the Flash, but Flash doesn't know he's Batman. So that moment when Bruce throws the Batarang and Flash literally is seeing that shit in slow motion, He's like, oh, wow, okay, that's that's pretty cool. Yay, sweet, you're Batman, awesome. And that line where he's just like, oh, oh, I'm in, I'm already in, man, this is cool. Um, I kind of need some friends. I, I just, I like that moment. A bit geeky, a little bit awkward, a little bit of a cocky guy in the comics. I would love to see that. He definitely looks like young Barry Allen. Let's talk about the costume design. Holy shit, whoever did the costume design for these characters, 
Awesome, it looks like everybody got a really cool upgrade. Cyborg looks like a beast. He definitely looks straight out of New 52. Flash's suit, some people are gonna complain that it's a little bit too armored. I really like the fact that Flash's suit looks like a mix between the New 52 Flash and the Injustice Flash, where it's a little bit more armored and, you know, it just has like a different look and feel to it than the typical Flash suit. I really like that shit. Batman's suit looks like it's upgraded. I mean, you see them all standing there, by the way, in that poster, that sweet ass awesome poster where they're just sitting there like, yeah, we're here. Fuck the Avengers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm just kidding, Marvel. Lower the pitchforks. Lower the pitchforks. One conspicuous absence is Superman, but obviously Superman is dead. So I'm hoping that they don't show him in the trailers. I'm hoping that they hold that off into the movie because it'd be such a great moment, a big impact moment when Superman comes back. You did see him on the poster though, and he just looks as badass as ever. He's got like that little Christopher Reeve smirk going on. There's just so much to love about this trailer. Aquaman, Cyborg, all of them. They just, they killed it. DC, thank you for making me a very happy man today. Th guys, that is my reaction. Those are my thoughts on the Wonder Woman and the Justice League teaser trailers. Let me know what you thought of them. I love talking about this shit with you guys. Let me know what you thought about them. Which one did you like better? And which one are you more excited for next year? Comment, like, share, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, check out my Star Trek Beyond review. Stay tuned. I'll have a review for Lights Out coming up tomorrow. It was supposed to be today, but I said fuck that. We're talking about Justice League today. Lights Out can wait. Lights Out can wait. As always, if you like what you see, tell me how you feel. And stay tuned to hear more from the Man of Steel. Peace.